Yeah, some of my fields I know in my collection are dangerous filters and which ones are safe. I'll start with this one. This is a Australian um, slash British general service Mark V respirator. This one does contain blue asbestos in it. So I sealed up the um, side of the filter here. I put a sign on there. My things upside down. Got this from Nami Surfboard Store down here in Geelong. It was really cheap, this gas, oh not cheap, but it was good condition gas mask. Here we have the British slash Australian General Service Mark IV, the earlier version, with the brown filter. Same, it's got blue asbestos in the filter, so it did the same thing, sealed it. Now here's a British rare civilian mask. I'm going to tell you about the things I know about this filter. Some of the filters have different stripes. If you have one with a green or a red filter, I mean a green or a red stripe, I've heard someone say if it has a green or red stripe, it does not contain asbestos. With a red or green stripe, it does not contain asbestos. If it has a white stripe where the green one would be, if it has a white, a white stripe there, it does contain asbestos. It's a British, earlier British mask. It's really hard to get these. Here we have an Israel 4A1 um, civilian mask. This filter is completely safe. It's a safe filter, has no asbestos in it. There's a charcoal and carbon filter. Here we have a GP5 filter. I stuck a screw there because it's this cat broke, but. I'm not certain, but these some people say these filters here contain asbestos too. That that there's asbestos that it's charcoal. But I'm not sure it does contain asbestos. Some people say it does. But I think it does, but, but there is a rule: if you don't drop these filters on the floor or dent them up, it's safe to use. If they're not dented and they're not being dropped, it's safe to use the filter. But once they get dented up or they get broken up, they're dangerous to use the asbestos parts and leak leak out. What is my um? GB5. I've got, gone down to the hardest. I bought some of those little white marsh news for asbestos removal and I cut one up to stick it into the air intake. So I'm screwing the filter in, it'll filter with any dust out. Here we have a M10M second generation check, check mask. I'm not sure what these filters are made of. I think they're just carbon. I'm not sure what these are made out of the filters, but the filters are inside the mask. I can't show you them. These, these two masks here, both of these have asbestos. Some fillers of those British masks have asbestos. If you have one with a white stripe, it contains asbestos. If you have one with a green or a red stripe, it's safe. Or if you have a red, red stripe, it's safe. If you have only a green stripe, only it's safe. These fillers here can be da are dangerous if they're being dropped on the floor because they do contain asbestos. I think they do. This filter is safe. I'm not sure what these filters are made out of in this mask, but that was a quick video about my mask filters, and I don't know which ones are dangerous and which ones I'm not sure about, but that's it.